I'm back. After the wild success of my last project, my book's shirt, I'm going to do another one. So this weekend, when I was at Hobby Lobby getting the vinyl for that shirt, I picked up, I think, five or six of these. They're the canvas bags. I made another project with them, just a pen pouch. And I had an idea. So here's my idea. They are 11 by nine and I am going to make them into book pouches. So I started with, what's that noise? Don't know. I started with five or six and they're only a dollar 69 and they might've been on sale. I don't think they were though, but a dollar 69 heavy duty canvas and a nice zipper. And I know because I've used that other one for quite a while now. So on Friday night, I um, found some little cute books or sayings, and I'm going to use these for book pouches for my uh, read aloud write alongs when kids work independently on these. So I have a ton of books that I've made them for. Um, these are just going to be numbered. I found a little circle. I'm going to print out a circle with a number one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I had five because that's, well, how many numbers I, I found. I'll show you the different designs. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but it's going to be fine. No, I do. I just have them all saved. What is happening right now? That was weird. I just have them all saved on one page. So I need to um, figure out how to print out just one at a time. And then I'm going to iron them on here, put the little cute book and my foldable in there because it's an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Is that right? Eight and a half by 11. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, um, I'm excited. It's going to be cute. Hold on. Okay. So here are some of the ones now like this top one that says can't read I or can't talk. Can't read. That's not what I want to uh, instill in my students. Can't talk. I'm booked. I made that just picked two cute fonts that I liked. Did that. Um, I bought these fonts. They are both uh, Christina Albani on Teachers Pay Teachers. Christina, no, Caitlin, sorry, Caitlin Albani on Teachers Pay Teachers. And then the rest of these things are from Cricut. So aren't these just super cute? But here's the thing. Oh, you know what? It's fine because they're going to come out one at a time when with the layers here. Okay, got it. So which one should I do first? I'm going to do the can't talk, I'm booked, and then these books under probably like either over here because it has like that kind of natural little thing there for it. We'll see. So I am going to print out one or a couple of these and get ready to iron them on my book bags. Okay, I am ready to cut. It's going to do all my numbers and oh, can't talk, I'm booked. It's going to do all those things, assuming that I didn't goof. So, sit back and let the magic happen. I'm not a joke. I'm also going to start doing these, not like all of them because I like to see the fun dots and stuff and have cold stuff in there. Mine's not, but um, I am going to do some of my cups. It's kind of exciting. So I just need the books. What if I do, ooh, I'm gonna do the purple foil on the book. See, I'm just gonna try to use up some of the stuff I already have. So that I already have out, I mean. I have other stuff, I just, it's not in the same room as I am, so this is better. It is at 42%. I like how it tells you as you go, 47%, because I don't know, it's just fun. And then I'm gonna iron on the words, and then, ooh, that, um, the numbers are really close. I think it's fine. I'm just gonna put the numbers like in the lower right-hand corner of the bag. I'm so excited. I'm gonna start using these probably, I don't know, no reason I can't start right away, but for some of the kids in um, book club, when we're doing our, um, the, what am I trying to say, book passports, 
I'm going to let them use these. And since there won't be enough for everybody, it will make them much more exciting. You know how that goes. Limited time offer. Everybody has to have it, right? It's just how that goes. So I will let you know when I get this cut out and ironed on. I'm not going to reposition the camera again, my phone. I did that. Um, the first time I'll just show you my finished product. I mean, the first time on the other video. I'm not gonna move it again, I'll be back. Okay, this is where I am right now. I love it, I use the shiny uh, purple, the foil, but man, this took forever. It didn't wanna stick to my, the canvas, so I'm gonna have to figure another way. Also, I had to make sure this was off the plate while I was doing it, I didn't want any melted zippers. That was no big deal, but this took forever to get it to stick. So, the last time I used this um, bag and I made my pen bag, I used my iron, regular iron. So maybe there's something to that, I really don't know. Um, there's a little oops here, but if we're being honest, there's probably going to be a lot of oopses with these in the classroom. So I'm not at all upset about that. Anyway, now I'm going to try to iron on a number down here. I'm not excited because this was really, it took forever. I'm going to do that and then I'll show you the final, final product if there is in fact a final product. Okay, so here is the final. I just decided to just do the number. Um, I think it was me trying to take the, the paper off, you know, the sticky stuff off too soon because this came out just fine, first try. I did leave it instead of 20 seconds, probably about 30. But so there it is, uh, book pouch number one. I love it, I'm super excited. I'll show you uh, what I am gonna do with the books. Probably either I'll do it this video or a later video, probably this video. Anyway, that's it for now. Okay, so I'm going to show you the ones I finished tonight. I finished number one, number three, and I, I just used the extras from my shirt. Um, I think these will stay on okay, maybe not. And then this was the original, and I just used the extra pieces. So we have book uh, thingies. <laughs> I can't talk or think. One, two, and three. Book bags. There we go. One, two, and three. And I think they turned out super cute. I will show the other two when I get them done, but that is not going to be tonight. Um, I may just not finish these for a little while. We'll see. It was me trying to take off the paper too early that was causing them um, not to stick, but it was a little more difficult on the canvas than a t-shirt for sure. But I'll catch you up later when I get more made. Hello, I'm just popping on really quick with Monroe here. She's, we're cuddling. So I am gonna show you really quick what I decided uh, to put in my book bags. I actually <clears throat> already talked about it, but I just wanted to show you. I still only have the three made, but I have made copies of, well, I didn't make copies of, I printed out my foldables and I did them on my computer, which is new. So I did it back to back, but I flipped it on the wrong edge. So instead of flipping it on the long edge, I need to flip it on the short edge or vice versa. Anyway, so it's upside down, but this is, an example of the one that goes with Eva's new pet. This is the very newest Owl Diaries, number 15, I believe. Yes. And so here's the read aloud ride alongs. I am going to put them in there. This book has a total of two with a total of 10 questions. So this is the first one. Yes, yes. And <clears throat> so the kids would take this one, write their name, answer the questions, front and see, I, I did it backwards, but it's not a big deal. You just have to turn it upside down. So they would answer the questions and then the next one and those questions. So again, upside down. It happens even on the copier at work. I goof sometimes, but anywho, 
that is what is going to be in the book bags. And I might stick just for a little added bonus, like a new pencil in there and maybe like a sucker. I don't know. Am I bribing children to read? Yes, yes I am. That's what I do for a living. So anyway, that is what will be in the book bag. It's nice and skinny. So I'm thinking I can keep these in just a plastic container. Um, I have another one printed out. It has three foldables, I believe. Yeah, there's three of them, but this is for Haunted Castle on Hallow's Eve. That's a Magic Treehouse book. And then I always let them decorate the front. They can draw what they think the book might be about. My first two questions are always, when I look at the cover of this book, I think it might be about. And the second one is the main characters, and then they can add to that as the story goes on. If they turn in the first one, we just talk about the characters as they pop up in the story. Anyway, so I'm going to put in a magic tree house. These are all kind of seasonal. Um, this one is another Owl Diaries and another one. So I'm going to put three in <clears throat> the same book bag. And then three different students can use that before I have to make more copies, if that makes sense. So I'm doing that. I'm also going to do another new one that I made is, this is the third one, but um, Amelia Bedelia's Scared Silly. It's really cute. It's not necessarily, um, oh yeah, it is too um, Halloween, but it's not like a, not super Halloween. It's about a mystery in their neighborhood, in their city. Anyway, so I just wanted to come on quick and tell you that they're ready to go. As soon as I bring them to school, I have the Amelia Bedelia book at school, as well as the Magic Treehouse Haunted Castle on Hallow's Eve. And then, what other ones did I print out? Oh, I printed out some, um, I also have these in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. They are um, fluency passages. And so I thought I'd bring the one about pumpkin chucking in because that's fun. And so I copied those out and what else? Oh, Calendar Mysteries, October Ogre, the Calendar Mysteries um, books and also another Magic Treehouse, A Good Night for Ghosts. So I have four, so I better get busy in those last two bags. I will just insert a quick picture in another video if they are picture worthy. That's all I wanted to say. So I'm gonna end the video here. If you found anything helpful, useful in this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to help me grow my channel. Monroe and I say, remain positive about the world you live in. Monroe really is the one who said it, aren't you? Oh, she's snoozy. Oh my goodness, she's tired. Okay, see you next time, bye.